Good morning, everybody. It is actually Thursday. Uh, not really the normal Monday lot walk that we do, but uh, it's Thursday today. Yesterday was Wednesday. We had the 4th of July. I was on vacation, so a bunch of stuff came in while I was gone, and we're going to go over that right now. Hope everybody had a happy 4th of July, and it is currently July 6th, so Thursday. We're going to get to it. We got a lot of cool stuff, including a 2022 super stock uh, Hellcat Challenger, which is really neat in indigo blue and a bunch of trucks and just a bunch of stuff. So we're going to go over everything and let's flip it around here. Grab your coffee and I uh, hope everybody had a great June. We had a fantastic June. We had d delivered over 180 cars. It was it was a really, really good month or close to 180. Um, new and used so it was a really good month hope everybody had a great june and let's get july rolling right now oh there's my t-bird a couple sold challengers that we're waiting to get picked up first off here we got a 2022 ford f-250 this is an xlt with the black appearance package this one's got the power stroke diesel and the 10 speed automatic transmission you know you get the 20 inch blacked out wheels blacked out step bars and the uh, Blacked Out Grill with the kind of bronze Ford logo on it. This one's got 19,000 miles. This is a one owner from Kentucky and it's absolutely perfect. I didn't see a dent or ding on it. So really excited to get that truck going and through our shop. I've got a 2016, this week was the, this weekend was the week of trade-ins. Uh, we got just a ton of trade-ins in. This is a trade-in, this is a 2016 Dodge Charger SE all wheel drive. It's uh, got 122,000 miles on it. We got a couple little things to do on the interior. We got some dings and stuff to take care of, but I think that'll be a really nice ride. That's Jazz Blue. This is a 2018 Dodge Ram. Uh, I think this is a Laramie. Yes, this is a Laramie Sport Package, and it's got the Cummins diesel in it. This one has. I want to say 28,000 miles. Once again, all these vehicles are going to be linked in the description below, so click the links. I'll have them all labeled and everything, but this is the 2018 uh, Ram 2500. Once again, I think it's got 28,000 miles. Don't quote me on that. This is a 2015 GMC Sierra bronze alloys, the color. It's a double cab short box. It's got 95,000 miles. Not even sure if we're going to keep this one yet. I really haven't even looked at it. Um, it's got the Z71 package. Not too bad. Uh, would have to get a couple interior things fixed on it. Uh, right here we have a really nice B5 Blue 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT. This one's only got 7,000 miles on it. It's got the options group two with the subwoofer. It's got the moon, the nav, the heated seats, the 20 inch wheels, and uh, B5 Blue, really a good looking vehicle. I didn't see a ding on it so as soon as we get this one cleaned up and through the shop i'm sure it will sell fast and here is the 2022 dodge challenger super stock uh, so this one's got the drag radials on it the wide body kit the high output hellcat 6.2 liter engine supercharged indigo blue is the color and really a sharp ride it's got the moon the black stripes over the top you get the red eye badges on the Hellcat logo there. This one's only got 2,000 miles and believe it or not this was a trade-in on just a normal Hellcat so um, really a cool car. I've never seen one but now I have. Anyways we got a 2020 uh, Chevy Equinox. This is an all-wheel drive LT with the Redline package on it. It's got leather, heated seats, backup cam, and for the life of me, I can't remember how many miles are on this. I want to say like 50,000 maybe. Uh, you have to check the website. This is one that we've already got through our shop. It's already cleaned up. I got to do a video on it today. Uh, 13956, that's a Camaro convertible ZL1. That's a really nice car as well. This is a 2017 Ram 3500. And I want to say this one has uh, can't remember. It's got like 42,000 miles on it, I believe. And this one's got the high output Cummins diesel and just super, super clean. I didn't see a single ding on it. It's no scratches. It just needs a bath and this thing will be 100% ready to go. Uh, really a hot truck. 
and it's loaded out. It's got a nav system on it, heated cool seats. It's got a nice big uh, brush guard on it as well. The Monaco red's the color on there. And then we have another 2016 Dodge Charger SE all wheel drive. Uh, it's like a clone to the other one that we just got in in trade this is also a trade-in it's an all-wheel drive it's got 99,000 miles so a little less miles than the other one if you like white better than blue there you go um, here is a 2019 I believe 2019 2018 no 2019 Ram 3500 so this is a 2019 Ram 3500 single rear wheel. It's got the Cummins diesel. This one's got the high output Cummins diesel. So it's got the Ison transmission. And this one is a Laramie as, no, a Bighorn. This is a Bighorn. But what's really cool about this one is somebody has wrapped the top. So it's got a two-tone effect. Uh, really looks good. Whoever did it did a really nice job wrapping it. Uh, the roof's wrapped as well. It's got some nice wheels and tires on it. Uh, color match bumpers and yes that's a big horn I think it's a night edition but that that one's got 64,000 miles on it and that one's just about perfect as well this is a 2020 power wagon so this one has the 64 Hemi this one comes with a an 18,000 pound easy lift fifth wheel it's got the leather interior, so it's uh, really a nicely optioned out power wagon. It's got the big radio, and I want to say that this one has, I can't remember the exact miles on it. Um, I think it's right around 36,000 miles on this one. This is a brand new Pacifica trade-in that we got. Uh, so it's a dealer trade. Uh, we just got that through. This is a Ford Mustang GT Premium convertible. Uh, Mazda 3 I got to do a video on, a Ram 2500 I got to do a video on. All these are through our shop. Here's a really nice 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. It's got nav and moon. It's got some really nice BFG tires, bright whites of color. It's got the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. That was a trade-in from yesterday, so that's as fresh as they get. That's the last one I booked in yesterday. And uh, we have a convertible Corvette. This one's been here. New Ram's been here, GMC's been here. This uh, Challenger, we had to redo videos on this one because uh, the 3M tape on the front was coming off, so we had to take that off and we're gonna redo videos on that. Uh, we also got a Shelby GT 07 that came in uh, from California, that's really nice. What else came in? I've got a 2012, sorry, this is kind of a long video, but like I said, it's been a couple days, so we got that Mustang in yesterday as well. I believe that's in a, 16, a 17. I think this is a 17 GT Premium Convertible stick shift. It's got like 30, no, 20,000 miles on that one. This one is a Shelby GT500 2012. And if you watched any of my other videos, I have one of these cars. Mine's a 13, uh, but this thing's really nice. It's got the Recaros. It's got that. SVT performance package. This one has the red stripes. These are factory stripes on this car uh, with the silver ingot or ignot silver uh, lines on the outside. And this car is just about as nice as they come. It's got 11,000 miles. That's going into the shop in just a little bit. So that's all the stuff that we got outside. This one has Roush exhaust on it too. Sounds really good. 2012. Just about mint with uh, only 11,000 miles on it. And then I got two more in the shop right here. Let me, I won't bore you all the way over there. We got our little arid desert right over here. So, uh, Pachycea Springle, uh, largest cactus in the world right there, that big one. Anyways, let's hop inside the booking area or the drive up, we should say. <laughs> 2022 Ram 2500 Laramie. Patriot Blue Metallic, this one's got the Cummins Diesel, it's got the, uh, obviously the Laramie Package color match bumpers as well, 20 inch polished aluminum wheels, this one's got 8,000 miles, does have a couple little dings we gotta fix on there, but that's nothing too serious, and uh, you get those color match bumpers with the Sport Appearance Package, you can see only 8,300 miles on this one, it's got the big radio, still has a water bottle in it too. So we're actually waiting to find out what the stock number is on this, but 
Anyways, really nice truck. And then lastly, we've got a 2020 Lincoln Aviator. This one has 30, I wanna say 36,000 miles on it. Something like that. 39,000 miles. Anyways, this thing's kinda cool. New aviators, I haven't seen too many of those. Anyways, that's the lot walk. And uh, I think it's ruby red's color on this one. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And let's get July rolling and uh, check out the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And hope everybody has a fantastic day.